best price we got back to was 11 million bucks. It's got to be 13. We figured it out. I'm not going to change my income stream. Barry, you know me. I'm trying. I'm doing my best here. No, I don't uh, know you. I don't know you. I don't know you at all. No. Barry, it's Henry Eisenstein. How are we doing? Good, Henry. What's going on? You got two minutes for me? Yeah. All right, cool. Listen, I spent the uh, better part of this weekend underwriting this every which way possible. Um, had a couple uh, multi-hour calls with my my client and with the lender, trying to figure out the best way we can figure out to pay you the most money possible. Best price we got back to was 11 million bucks. Cash, quicker close, no BS. Yeah, I'm going to... I mean, we did the same thing this weekend, and, and we feel that thirteen five is the right number. You know, otherwise, I'm not interested. Well, listen, I, we're so close on this deal, right? We're so I close, know, and I'm, it's like, I'm, listen, I'm really at fifteen, and I'm I coming it. down to thirteen five already, and that's where I'm staying. You know? Well, again, let's talk. So let's talk about it because I know you're technically at thirteen because the five is the payment, uh, the commission, right? That's how we're at. I'm sorry. Because I want to make sure I'm understanding correctly. 13 is technically where you're at, but the extra 500 is so that you're covered on commissions. Well, 3% of 13.5 is a little less than uh, 500. 500 you know? I understand. I, I'm just saying that there's a little bit of room there just you know, to cover that. Well, there's 3%. That's what there is. That's I understand. It, you know? I understand. What I'm saying to you is this. To pay. I got a lot of taxes. I got a lot of things I have to pay, transfer. I mean, there's a lot going on. I, I, uh, what I do with the money is my issue. You know, I understand. I, I, I fully get know, that. But, I fully get but, that. Uh, but Look, that's really, listen, I already, just so you know, Friday and this morning, I sent out the plans uh, to good. three contractors so that I can uh, build the thing, you know? Understood. Um, I mean, listen, because like I say it like this. I told you the $11 million number, okay? $11 million number um, is an all-cash deal, no bullshit. OK, like we we had a very, very seasoned guy knows the game like this is one of the bigger Listen, heavy hitters. He knows in the, the game. He knows he's not going to be able to buy anything like that. You know, if you go look, there's uh, properties and like uh, 30, 40,000 square foot buildings that are going for more more per square. You know, they're going for the range that we're looking at. Well, listen, um, uh, listen, Barry, hold, I'm not trying to get you to accept the number, but hold on. Let me let me just explain something. The eleven million dollar number. Henry, Henry, I know you're doing a good job. OK, you got to do your job for your client and for me. And what I'm saying to you, I don't want you to waste your time because 13, five less than three percent is the number so i'm just and saying listen there, 13 five i understand hold on. You know, that's fine so hold on I, I get that hold on let's let's say, let's take this uh, let's take a step back for a second Thirty three percent is 405 let's call it a flat 400 just for quick number's sake okay so your net number is 13 one my deal at 10 10 uh, sorry at 11 million at three percent i'm rounding numbers but it's around net to you of 10 seven okay that means we're off by one uh by 2.4 million dollars Okay, we're not off by fifty million. We're off by two point four. You obviously would want that. Five, but if we go to fifteen, we're off by more. You know, so. We're, I know, but it's not fifteen. Cut it. It's, I understand what you're doing, but I'm saying if you're not going to come to thirteen, whatever you figured one at the table, cash to walk away with, I'm not interested right now. I get know, it. I rather build it. I get and it. It's, I and don't have to lay out. And you might, and you might as well. You might listen. That might be the best decision for you. And if it is, I'm fully supportive of it. And I'm not telling you to take less no, than what no, you think. That's what I was going to finish. Is I'll sell it later. You know, uh, I'm not worried. Right? No, I'm not worried yeah. about it. No. Well, listen. Why don't what? Because like I want to think about it like this. The other you. question is: Is does your client have any 1031s that he's doing still? You know, that's where you know other people that I talk to. That's their goal. So, you know, the exact penny isn't the, the, the deciding factor. Okay, you know? well, so, so let's talk about it like this, okay? If I was able to get this guy to 12-2, 12-5, you know, like and net to you, somewhere in that vicinity, you know, 12 million, 12-2. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, listen, it's got to be 13. It's got to be 13. We figured it out. I'm not going to, I'm not going to change my income stream. From I, I definitely I'm don't want you to, now, I don't want you to change what? that. I'm, what, if, what if we did 90% down cash and you, you hold a. I, I don't want to hold it. I'm, I don't need a partner. And number one, number two, I don't know what these guys are going to do. You know, they could leverage the place out. Of if course. you tell me they're going to, they're only going to borrow five million dollars and guarantee that, 
you know, then I might look at it again and consider that. Say that again. I'm not going to have them leverage the property and hold a second mortgage that I can wipe my ass with, you know? No, no, no. Listen, so, so explain that to me again. You said that you'd be open to what? I said that if, if they guarantee that they're not going to leverage the property, mean borrow against it, for more than you know, which is not going to happen. They're bar, you know, they're they're financing the deal. Well, they're going to finance. So the, they're financing it with their own money or with someone else's money. Well, hold on. Care. So the deal. So again, just so you understand completely, let's just say again, I'm BSing with you, but like, let's just say if we can we can try to squ uh, make this number make sense in your head, okay? Because right now I'm uh, ignore your 13. I'm going to ignore the 11. I'm just talking numbers, okay? I understand exactly where you're at. I'm not telling you to take less, but I'm just talking out loud with you, okay? Let's say that I got them to do 11 million dollars down. OK, or th like even the 13 or the number. Right. We got him a, a good lump sum of cash. Down. Henry, Henry, I'm going to save you some time. It's cash deal. No matter what the deal is, I don't I understand hold anything. The number. Okay. No, I understand the number down. That. But number I'm saying two is the it's, it's a, the price is 13 five. And that includes the three percent commission. I understand. Now, if, if, however, they want to do it. I don't care. As long as at the closing, I leave with 13 one. I understand. That's that. all. I, listen, know? Barry, what I'm saying, I'm not well, listen. Unless some other expenses that I have to pay at close. Barry, just know? just bear with me for two minutes, please, because I think I can do this with you. But I just need to, we need to be a little a little bit more creative than what we're being right now. And listen, I, I'm just going to do my best. So I'm saying if I got you a lump sum of cash up front, that makes sense for you. OK, I'm not telling you what number it is. I'm not telling you it's lower than what you've already told me. I got you a lump sum of cash up front. And then you, uh, we got you to hold, again, a, a million or two million bucks. And then you get that payment of a million or $2 million or $3 million in 36 months, right? So you got, let's just say a good portion, like 90% of it up front, okay? And yeah, the remaining portion in, 90, in 36 months. Is for me to even go back and look at something like that, to hold a little bit of paper. Yep. I can't allow them to encumber the property yep. for, for, you know, 10, 15 million dollars, you know, because what, because then I'm not secured, but I'm saying, how are you more or less secure? If there is less money being like, if there was a, because if it was only three million, my chances, I'll, listen, if they go on there, I'll pay the $5 million to the first, uh, position, lien. uh, lien holder. And yeah. I own the property again, yeah. you know, and I got their 10 million or $12 million, you know, I understand. Um, so that's how I would do it because I'm secured. But if I'm not secured, I'm not interested. I got you it. Know, I, I see what you're saying. Really, and the, the deal at 13, five is a cash deal. I understand. If they want to do financing. We're going to go back to the 15. No, I, I, I got mean, it. I don't get it. You listen, know? I, I mean, listen, I think understand. about it. I understand you're working hard on your end. Can I can I ask you? Happen, but I'm not going to do anything different. That's fine. I'm Listen, gonna... I'm not asking you to do anything different or anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. So, Barry, let me ask you this. How did you come up with the 13.5? Well, that's based on everything we need to pay to, you know, for tax reasons. And also, the biggest thing is to replace the income that I'm getting now. With the without building the building, the income that how, how much are you? How much is the income right now? You're making whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We figured it out already. The number's thirteen five. The yeah. number's thirteen five. Well, you because know? the only reason why I'm the only reason why I'm even bringing it up is that if we hy hypothetically structured it where you didn't lose any income, like I and let's just say you're making right now three hundred thousand. I'm, I'm not looking to do any structure. I don't need people. I'm not relying on anybody. I don't do that i don't borrow money when i don't need to and yeah. i don't have any loans right now i have zero you know no mortgages on all the shopping centers all the properties yeah. all the industrial buildings that i own you I know understand. I understand. Uh, and i'm not looking i'm not looking to have any exposure this is more you know otherwise i'll just keep it no you listen know, I, I, I i listen barry i hear you loud and clear and i'm not trying to argue your point what i am trying to say is that if you are more specific, because you mentioned to me, you just said that you want to keep the income that you're making on this property. Yeah, but Henry, I'm not, I'm not, I really don't, I really don't want to do that. I mean, yeah. I'm telling you that the 13.5 price is cash. 
if you want to talk about a small financing, then we're at 15. Then we're so at 15. We're so then, okay, so let's talk about the, like, fine, ignore the cash price then. Let's say we're at 15. And at 15, how much how much money on a, on an annual basis do you need to have in order to continue making sense of your um, your lifestyle here? Listen, that's not your, that's not for you to do. I, I did that with my accountant and I'm telling you, that thirteen five is a cash is payment. A cash number. I understand. I'm saying I I might not be. Listen, Barry, you know me. I'm trying. I'm doing my best here. No, I don't uh, know you. I don't know you. I don't know you at all. I'm, I'm saying based on. I'm, I'm saying you've known me since. If you could bring a deal like that, I will. I'd be happy to go over it. But otherwise, I think we're wasting time right now. Barry, wasting the only time. the only time we're wasting is like, listen, you told me that you want either a fifteen million dollar deal with some type of seller financing that felt comfortable for you, or an all cash deal at. 13.5 million. I'm very clear. I understand. What I mean by you know me is that I've been in touch with you since day one on this deal and I'm doing my best to try to get you the best offer. Well, listen, $15 million. I have to pay tax on 15, not on, on uh, 12, five. You know, if I do a 12, five cash and hold two and a half million dollars. I know? understand. I understand. So I, I, it doesn't matter. I, 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 but the biggest part of that is securing it. What if you at, were, what if you were added on the LLC and you still had ownership in the property? No, I don't want to add on nobody's LLCs. Absolutely not. Never happened. I don't need to know. I don't, I don't need to be a part. I don't need a partner. What do you, what do you, partner. what do you want then? What do you want? Besides the 13, I'm saying besides, I understand you are, you are so loud and clear about your 13, five number. I hear you. I'm saying if, you were to hold any paper whatsoever. What do you want? Fifteen. I know. I'm saying I understand the price. I'm saying terms. I would hold two and a half million dollars in uh, for thirty six months, and I would. But you see, you're telling me we went through this before. I need to have a second mortgage now. If that, I will consider a second mortgage if they don't encumber the property by more than five million dollars on the first mortgage. I understand. So, I'm, I'm just trying to get clear for you know, it. And, and like, honestly, if someone would, was going to. In general terms, that would uh, secure me in my comfort zone that yeah. if they default, that I can purchase the first mortgage yeah. and, can, and go back to work. Well, Meanwhile, listen, th this buyer gave me work. this buyer gave me the ability to come up to twelve million dollars on this phone call, depending on where we need it to be. And I know maybe twelve is not twelve cash straight is not maybe not enough to get this deal done because you're stuck on the 13 and change. But I'm saying, listen, is there a number that we can come to in between between the 12 and the 13 and change? Is there a number? No, I told you that that's my minimum number. You know, I was at 15 and I, I keep, you know, I'm not going to do this. Um, 13.5, less than 3% commission is. But I'm saying like the, you're, came, you're coming up with this. I, would consider. I understand. You're coming up with this number based off of what you need to net in order to have a taxable. Listen, event. it's not just. When I, it's, it's what, that's the number that I need, period. Not, it doesn't matter what it's for. Yeah. But that's the number that I need. Yeah. I don't, under, you know, I'm not going to go through my personal finances. I don't need you to go money. through your personal finances. I'm just trying to understand where you're coming up with a number based off of a price per I'm, square foot. I'm telling you where I, I came up, we took my, what I need to cover everything I have, you know, on the interest that we hope to get. So there's some, there's some, uh, tangent, you know, uh, there's some, room for error but there's not much okay and that's the number that's it i went through this exercise with my accountant and that's the number that's the number that it makes sense for me to sell otherwise it does not make sense and i should pick, go build it yeah period and you're, you're and how much what are the estimates in what you're getting right now to build it doesn't matter and i'm still deciding if i'm going to pick up uh up buildings or metal buildings or, or what but i'm Right now, I'm working on the site work. On the site. site work has right. to be done first. So I'm waiting to hear what they have to say. I got all, you know, the water, the sewer, the, the electric, uh, everything. You know, the, there's the, the uh, ingress and egress, the roads. Yep. I got to do all that first. The buildings are the secondary thing. So I don't know how much it's going to cost me. I, I we're, we're guesstimating somewhere around seven. Seven million. Yeah. For everything. That's what we're guesstimating, you know, but I don't know. You're saying for, you're saying for everything, correct? Yeah. Uh, but listen, I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not saying it as a guarantee or as anything to base it by. 
I'm telling you that based on now, I'm going to do a lot of work myself. You know, I have my own machines to clear. I have to, to remove the trees to do all that, you know, so there's some things I'm doing myself, Yeah, but that has nothing to do with the deal. The deal is as is, where is with these approvals, 13, five cash or 15, I can work on something uh, to finance something unless, uh, only if we can secure it. I understand. Okay. I think the easiest deal for them to do is 13, five and and go, you know, they have income from day one. It's not like they're buying a raw piece of land. Yes. There's a building how, that's how, generating income. How much money, income. how much an income is that building generating right now? I think, I'm not sure. I could have like around 350. 350 net or 350 gross? Approximately. Yeah. What? 350 net or 350 gross? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got to look at it. But listen, they're not buying my business. All right. They can do what they want with the square footage. They can charge what they want. They can I, do I, I, they I can understand throw everybody that. out. I don't really don't care. No, no, no. I, I fully understand that. Can you find, do me a favor. If I'm going to get you the 13, five number, like you've been very clear about, can I, can you at least try to get me some of the leases that are in place right now and some idea of the financials? Because the only way that I'm going to be able to get that is if I have a very clear understanding of what the current income is. All right, I'll see what I, I thought I sent that to you. You know, you only sent me the, the, uh, the survey, the, all the plans and all that jazz. All right. No, I thought I sent that. All right. Let me look. I'll, I'll, send, I'll, I'll let you know what the total rental is. So okay, that's, what I do. that's fine. Right. And like, and just if you can just try to break it down for me, like the only reason why I was asking about the leases is because I want to know who pays the expenses. Right now, there's a well. Okay, um, so there's no water bill for them. There's they pay their electric, and mm -hmm. other than snow plowing, you know, and of course with maintaining the building, they pay everything else. But I'm saying, what about taxes and insurance? Do they cover that? No, I, I pay it. I pay okay, it. so then, okay, you pay. you pay, you pay the taxes and insurance. Got it. Right, right, Got it. right. Okay. My leases are cheap. You know, I have uh, good tenants. They've been cheap, but they take care of the place. They don't call me if something's broken. And it's a hundred percent occupied of that current building right now. Building's a hundred percent occupied, but there's about six thousand square feet in the back building that I keep for myself. I understand what you're saying. So, so like, yeah. uh, so basically, because you said it was a forty-five thousand. It's a six thousand square foot warehouse. You know. Um, ceilings and i just store a lot of stuff in there for myself which i can move out you know so you're saying because that building you told me was forty five thousand square feet that building has about thirty nine thousand square feet of rented space and six thousand square feet worth of occupied space from you approximately and i don't know if it's 45 or 42 but whatever it is you know it's uh, i'll send you something give me a day or two where i'll work on it see when i, I get a minute okay that's fine sounds you. good barry all right okay Thank nice you. henry yep bye